Well, I got this lined with some more refractory. Um, I'm going to line it all the way around, I think, because uh, this, this, I tested uh, this on a flame, and it seems to uh, take the heat really well. It doesn't scorch it or nothing. Um, it might over time, but uh, I think it'll help protect the the steel from degrading as fast. So I think I'm, and it'll keep the heat in there to burn up the uh, particulates a lot better. And I got my uh, stainless steel air line in there. Got it uh, in there solid. This 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 refractory is really rock hard stuff. Um, it, it looks kind of dumpy, but uh, that's the best I could do with uh, it being such a tight space to work in. Trying to get a trowel in there is impossible, so uh, I don't really care how this looks, because even if it uh, degrades, it'll still have the, the steel in there. And I can always clean out any pieces that chunk off. But anyway... Um, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, here's my top piece, I think I'm going to line the bottom with some more refractory up into the edge where I'm going to weld it, um, so it'll help protect this top piece too, because it's a little bit thinner, um, because this thing will be kind of a pain to cut off and replace, uh, wouldn't be a big deal but it'd take quite a while so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put uh, the square tubing on here that's got a uh, a uh, let's see how was I going to do that um The uh, the outer diameter the same as uh, the top piece. I'm going to have another one that's going to slide over the top of this one, where the outer diameter of the top one connected to the other propane tank half that I'm going to put together. But I'm not going to weld it, so I can take it apart after a while and see how it's holding up. It's going to slide over the top of this bottom one that's attached to here. So I'll have one up here that will slide over this. And that will keep the fire contained uh, from coming out the side, I think. And at the top of that propane tank, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice some sh sections in here and grind it down here uh, only halfway through to where I'll bend it out and then I'll weld it in place that way to where the fire can still come out the top and hit the top plate and make it hot to cook on and whatnot and, and then it'll come back down into the bottom of the tank and go out the exhaust uh, just like all the other designs but uh, this way uh, if I just weld the top there just on the corners little tiny section that's and then I'll cut a slice out uh, that way I can still replace these and it'll be easy to replace rather than having the whole thing welded to the bottom and wasting one section over the other if one section's holding up uh, I'm not going to mess with it and that's how I'm going to do that anyway um, we got too far. Uh, today I'm going to work on the doors for for here and then get this attached once I get the rest of this stuff put around here. 